So the anti-TNF agents have now been licensed for over 10 years for rheumatoid arthritis, and when they were first used um, and available for widespread use, I think there was a continuing anxiety about whether or not an agent which uh, blocks something called tumor necrosis factor would actually increase the risk of cancer in patients with rheumatoid arthritis. In 2001, the British Society for Rheumatology established the BSR Biologics Register, the BSRBR, and to date we have recruited over 12,000 patients with rheumatoid arthritis starting anti TNF therapy in the United Kingdom. So it's long been recognized that patients with rheumatoid arthritis receiving standard non biologic therapy are also at an increased risk of uh, cancer. And on this background, and relatively unique among biologics registers, we've also simultaneously recruited a cohort of patients with moderate to severe active rheumatoid arthritis receiving non-biologic DMARDs, and these two groups are compared for their risk. So the data for this study comes from three sources. We collect regular follow-up from the hospital record, and on this would include details on what uh, anti-TNF drugs or others the patients are exposed to, and whether or not they developed a cancer. We also collect patient, uh, data directly from the patients for the first three years of studies. And in addition, our data is linked with the United Kingdom National Health Service Information Center National Cancer Register. And this is a mandatory reporting uh, cancer register where every confirmed uh, cancer in the United Kingdom is reported. And researchers can link their patient data with this register, and this ensures near 100% follow-up of all cancers regardless of whether we maintain contact with the original. <coughs> so the data that I'm presenting this afternoon uh, is an analysis limited to cancer in solid organs. So specifically, it excludes lymphoma and leukemia. And uh, just following along from the analysis that you've just heard, we've excluded all skin cancers as well. And we compared the risk between patients receiving anti-TNF therapy uh, to those receiving non-biologic DMAR therapies for out to five years. So in terms of our results, uh, over a period of um, approximately 10,000 person years of observation in patients receiving non-biologic DMARDs and almost 50,000 person years in patients receiving anti-TNF therapy, we observed 91 cancers in patients receiving DMARDs and 295 cancers in patients on anti-TNF. Now, um, as you may have noted in our abstract, there are some differences between the two groups, and in, particularly, uh, in particular, the DMARD group has proportionately more men, and they tend to be slightly older. Both of these are recognized risk factors for cancer in general. And therefore, we use statistical uh, adjustments to balance the risk between the two groups. And what we found is after this, we found no overall risk in cancer among patients receiving anti-TNF therapy when compared to patients not receiving anti-TNF therapy. We went further and we compared the risk in patients receiving each of the original three anti-TNF agents, again, to the DMARD uh, cohort. And again, we found overall that the risk was similar across all three agents and again, not increased compared to the non-biologic group. The three most common cancers that we observed in our cohort were lung cancer, female breast cancer, and colorectal cancer, which would be in keeping with distribution of common cancers in the general population. And again, when we look specifically in the whole anti-TNF cohort, we again did not see an increased risk in any particular cancer. So to summarize our results compared to patients with rheumatoid arthritis uh, receiving DMARD therapy only, patients who were started on anti-TNF therapy uh, did not find that they had any added increased risk of cancer <coughs> compared to those not receiving the therapy. Of course, this represents therapy only up to five years, and we know that cancers in general can take many, many years to develop or become clinically apparent, and therefore, of course, we need to continue to follow these patients uh, for a long uh, further period. And, however, I think these results are very reassuring and uh, follow on nicely from results from early clinical trials that overall the risk of solid organ cancer with anti-TNF therapy does not appear to be increased. Um, however, we must remember that in general all patients with rheumatoid arthritis, regardless of treatment, probably do, as a group, have a slight increased risk of cancer and therefore patients and physicians should always investigate any new or unusual symptoms.